This time I got a request video from one of my friends, Chris, and he asked me to show him just to make a video about how I paint axles and frames. I'm going to start with the axles. I normally paint these uh, neon, this neon yellowish green highlighter highlight color but today I was thinking about some this is textured silver so some of the axles are going to end up my usual neon green and a few I'm going to paint them this the silver color so the first thing you're going to need is sandpaper. I made this block from EVA rubber just to make things easier, but you don't really need this. It is, it is enough if you buy 180 grit or 240 grit sandpaper. The reason you should use sandpaper is to get rid of the original paint and your paint will stick much better onto the metal because if you start painting on if you start painting on the original it will it could flake off it it will not look good also if you're trying to paint something very um, something very bright radiant color like this neon or any any brighter color it will look very dull on black and and for brighter colors you're going to need some brighter um, foundation a primer this one was made for this exact um, color and paint. It's the same brand. So this one, this one is like a neutral or a bit cold, cool white primer. But I think you could use the use some regular metal primer that is usually gray colored, matte gray colored. The pretty much the only thing that you don't need primer for if you just want to paint paint them black or some other darker darker color. You should definitely sand them down just a bit. Alright, so I'm going to start sanding these and let's roll the time lapse. Alright, so that took a while. No, I don't sand down all the paint, just most of it, because it's quite exhausting. <laughs> so, what I normally use for the axle bolts is cardboard, and I just Put them into, stick them into the cardboard like this. Just like this. So normally make this with the masking tape. It's like a little small short um, gum belt. So I could just hold this and spray it. Let's do the rest. All right, so we have our plate ready and we have our, did I just say gun belt? It's bullet, bullet belts, bullet belts ready. So let's, let's get the smell of the paint.
right guys so I'm going to let you watch paint dry and hyperlapse and let me know how much you like it All right, so a few hours later, these are dry or somewhat dry. It's dry enough that I could set them up. They came out quite okay. I'm not a perfectionist. I normally, I normally just um, I would rather overspray than underspray because even if it gets a bit um, drippy, I don't really care. It's gonna wear off, and I only want this to look good on video or on photos no one's really going to criticize me for doing a not perfect and imperfect paint job on my axles I didn't really like the the silver that I started painting with then I switched to another one because the first one I tried had this warm tone to it and I just switched to another one that has this neutral neutral silver and it's also structured I normally don't use I don't use um, I don't use um, clear coat on structured paint because it I noticed that it makes it very somewhat foggy or I know it just ruins the structure, it gets a bit cloudy. I use shiny clear coat mostly on these ones, it really makes them pop, these neon colors. And I switched, switched the idea to What if I paint the trigger axles instead of boring silver? I've got this um, iridescent paint. From one angle, it looks bluish. From other angles, it looks mostly purple or magenta. This pops so much better on curved surfaces it's not too bad on flat surfaces like this I'm going to show you how it looks on my free spoke wheels all right so these are 700 C free spoke wheels these are not carbon but it's a cheaper ALMG aluminium magnesium alloy wheel it's pretty heavy but it looks quite cool it's a bit beat up it's a bit it has a bit it has a few dinks and I'm just storing these not really using them currently it's 
trying to show it, but there's not a lot of room here for this wheel. All right, so let's set these up and see how they look. All right, so let's go from the most modest. This is the textured silver. I want to use this mostly in white frames. I have a couple of ground control frames. I kind of want this to pop a bit more because I want to combine this um, structured silver paint with a couple high vids strips let's look at the mooks shed the shadow mooks with the neon green axles yeah i'm using the caltech axles because the original ones of these are quite worn out i could set them up but um I'm always a bit scared that I might not going to be able to take them out. These caustics are brand new axles. Let's look at the iridescent purple in the trigger frames. I'm not really sure that I'm happy with this one. Maybe I should just go for a straight metallic purple. Alright, so this was the easy part. Painting axles and other metal bolts and screws on your skates. Quite easy. Let's move on to painting plastic um, like frames. I mostly, I only paint, well let's say mostly paint on recessed areas, these are the shadow mooks and as you could see it has, it's a bit scooped down here so that allows me and the factory, I think this came, I don't remember, I think this was grey or this um, brown tan color I don't remember I painted over it and I filled out the recessed areas with a oil based um, permanent marker or no no, no. I think I did this one with um alcohol based paint because these details are just very fine it, I really had to go to the store and buy um, these very fine tip um, permanent alcohol based markers and fill out the so painted the whole thing masked it, masked it out with tape painted it with white and I was drawing into the recessed area with with the pen on the other side I just put a sticker just to keep things simple this is the feather light 3 this one is a bit difficult well it's not difficult but it's time consuming to, to mask around this recessed area but the most um most of, most of these um universal can paint can paint are they just stick to glass filled nylon quite well they don't chip off on it unless it gets um unless it gets hit or scraped which is quite common but you could repaint them once every few months so it's not a big deal 
All right, and <clears throat> there is one more thing that I wanted to touch upon is painting boots. I have never painted any soft boot or hard boot with um, compressor and acrylic paint. I have a compressor, I have acrylic paints, and I haven't um, I haven't tried painting on acrylic boots, but I saw someone someone did it on Facebook, and I was to see Montreal Livingston doing it. I think he repaint he's painting shoes with compressor. I normally just paint my masks with the acrylic paint. Well, the problem with the acrylic paint that is, I don't know, it's just a bit troublesome. It's not as easy like these. These are just shake and go. And yeah, I used this one as the as the primer. I was showing you a wrong can. I was showing you the one with the transparent cap. I don't know. I just have so many. So many cans of paint at home that I don't always know which one's which. So yeah, I was using this one as the base. I also noticed that the this iridescent paint pops much better on black or matte black base. It gets really not very impressive. Like this is a white base. This is the I was just spraying on the cap. I did this. This is a white cap. It's gonna look like this, not very impressive. But if you paint it on black on a black base, you're gonna get this effect. A bit later I redid the trigger axles with this very deep blue metallic paint and this violet this purple paint and I used a white foundation then I sprayed it with the blue paint just a small amount then I overlaid it with the purple one so I got a somewhat similar effect I'm quite happy how it turned out. Alright guys, so I think I'm going to call it a video. You definitely didn't need this one. If you're a professional, some kind of person who works professionally with painting anything, if you're just um, interested in modifying your own skates by paint, painting the axles and other metal, metallic and plastic parts like frames. I hope this helped give you some ideas. That's all for now. See you later.